Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwadbin.com. In this video, we'll show you how to fetch the latest Lunaris AOSP ROM based on Android 16 onto Galaxy S20 FE. So please take a backup of all that on your phone and then let's get started. So first off, go to this link and get the ROM file. You will see a single zip file. From here, let me show you what I mean. So get this zip file. After that, extract the zip file. So I have got the zip file, then do extraction and you will get the following three files. These are the ROM, the recovery and the VB meta file. So once you've got all the three files, let's move ahead with the next step. Let me close this now. So your next course of action is to get the latest Android SDK from my article. The link for the same is given here. So get it from here, extract them onto a PC and you'll get the following files. One that is complete. Now enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. So let's enable both the toggles. For debugging is required for ADB command and OEM unlocking is required to unlock the phone. So go to settings, then about phone, software information, Tap on build number 7 times, then go back, again go back, go to dev options and from here enable OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging, tap on OK. You might get one more prompt, tap on allow and with this, the debugging now enabled. Let me first do a verification. For verifying that, type in CMD in the address bar of platform tools, hit the enter key, type in the command of ADB devices and verify that you are having an ID. As you could see, we are having this ID. If that's all well and good, then now you have to unlock the phone. For that, Boot the phone to download mode and then long press the volume up key to go to device unlock mode. Then once again press the volume up key to unlock the phone. Once that is done, connect to Wi-Fi and then verify that the OEM unlocking is shown here on your phone. Enable and gray out as you could see over here. I've also made a video on this so please have a look at the entire video also if required to unlock the phone. Once that is done, your next action is to get the Odin tool and start them onto a PC. Upon doing so, you will get the following 3-4 files. Flash tools, Odin, you could see the following files of extraction of Odin is there. After that, boot the phone to download mode. There are quite a few ways of doing so, but the easiest one is to simply use the ADB command. So type in the command of ADB, reboot, then download and hit the enter key. The phone should now be in the download mode in just a few seconds. You may also use the hardware key combination for hardware key. Have a look at my article. So over here, you could see ours is the first method. So power of the phone. Then press and hold the volume up and down keys and then insert the USB cable onto your phone. But the easiest way is to simply use the ADB command and you could now see we are inside the download mode. So once that is done, our next action is to flash the files of the recovery file first and foremost. First and foremost, so flash the file of recovery. For that, launch the Odin tool by exe file. Hit the OK button. Now verify your phone is shown here in the log section and in the com as well. That's all well and good. Go to option, uncheck auto reboot. Now click on AP. And load the recovery file. Just give me a second. It should be in the compress folder, I suppose. Compress, and this is the recovery file. First of all, load that. In the slot of user data, load the file of vmeta.tar file, which is over here. So verify once both the files are there. Then you have uncheck auto reboot. Click on start. The flashing will now start. Take up to around only a few seconds. Let me wait for that to complete. And after that, press and hold the power and the volume down keys and keep on holding both the key for 7 to 8 seconds. Then as soon as the phone is about to undergo a restart, let go of the keys and then press and hold the power and the volume up key. So first off, press the volume up, down and power keys for 7 to 8 seconds and keep on holding both the keys until the phone is about to undergo a restart. And then you may let go of the keys and now press and hold the power and the volume up keys. If you have done so at the right time, then the phone should now go to the USB recovery. But if there's any issue, then your phone will go to the stock recovery, in which case, you have to flash the recovery once again. So let's see what's the case in our phone. I guess we should be inside the USB recovery. This should take just a few more seconds. So let's keep a tab on that and see what happens now. So you could see we are inside the recovery, the ASP recovery. First off, please do a factory reset. Format data, again format data. Once that is complete, now let's flash the ROM file. So go to the home screen of the recovery. Now after that, you have to copy the ROM zip file and paste the file inside platform tools. So copy the file from here. It's the AOSP ROM. You nice. Copy the file from here, paste the file inside platform tools. For the ease of convenience, do a renaming. Let's rename it to something shorter. Let's say ROM and the name becomes ROM.zip. Now go to apply update from ADB and now open the CMD window. Type in the command ADB devices. Verify you're having the sideload keyword as you could see. Sideload. If that's all well and good, then type in the command of ADB sideload. And the file name, which in our case is rom.zip, then hit the enter key. The flashing will now start. Take up to around four to five minutes. So 
let's wait for that to complete so guys the flashing now complete now please do a factory reset once again it's a must so go to factory reset format data once again format data the data wipe is now complete once that is complete you must now tap on reboot system now the first booting up will take up some time i guess 30 to 40 seconds but that's all normal let's keep a tab on the boot logo or the boot animation which should now appear anytime soon and the g apps is there in the rom itself so no need to flash g apps so let me just verify it once yes the apps is there and all thanks to the dev zingling 157 he has made most of the rom for this phone and this rom is also made by him only so all thanks goes to him with that said let's see the boot animation now which will signify that the flashing has been done successfully and they should now appear in time soon you could see this is the boot animation of the rom so now let's wait for a few more seconds i guess 20 30 more seconds for the phone to boot to the os and we are now inside the os so let's get started let's skip this for now skip this as well set up offline if you want you may connect to wi-fi link your google account and restore all the app data but that will take ages so i am skipping that for now accept the terms and condition the font looks quite nice let's skip this and system navigation settings and that is it we are inside the os we have a few google apps pre-installed such as the the google app the play store the phone and messages the google chrome contacts and that is it you also have a automatic call recording app in the form of bcr apart from that you have the new qs tiles as you could see over here and then all the tweaks lies in this section let's have a look at that ui theming engine is over here theme style default let's say expressive or rainbow not fine let's go with the expressive only apart from that the font mode pre-built fonts custom font if you want you may choose a custom font as well let's choose with the the people fonts are fine in this regard you have quite a lot of fonts as you could see over here let's say coco thin and it's not enabled simple day for now let's go with the default only i like this one system icons likewise for the icon shapes we have the pebble which i use always then okay let me show you the pebble icon shape are over here you could see next up the wi-fi icon styles are here there are various options to choose from as you could see navigation bar for the three button navigation style you may choose from these icons if required video wallpaper that looks quite nice you may choose a video and that will be applied as a wallpaper i haven't seen this feature in any other rom this is a handy edition then system and mission style let's leave it power menu style let's say transparent and let's see how it looks fine wallpaper styles blur effect let's keep it enabled for both the home screen and the wallpaper lock screen you could see is enabled but i am not a fan of this so let me turn this off for now and it's gone the best effect i think will be for the video wallpaper that's a handy addition to this rom lock sound you choose from these lock sounds as well same for the unlock sounds volume percentage you must show or hide the volume percentage and let me show you once you could see shown as here at the top right search bar style android 15 is fine the qs settings when to show positioning haptic feedback okay let's enable that you may increase or lower down the number of rows and columns for each of the qs styles which are over here for now you could see there are four columns which is more than fine for me no changes required clock size you may increase the clock size change the clock style as well this is the one from oxygen os you could see in the top left the change is now implemented battery style let's say landscape ios 16 and it's not changed then we have the notification tweaks for stop button in the notifications let's see how it looks this is the button you may force stop notifications from here but that will force stop the entire app so don't do a force stop of a system app that might prove to be a risky approach lock screen tweaks lock glimpse change the wallpaper every time the screen lights up wallpaper source random is fine so it will automatically change the wallpaper every time your phone lights up but that might require wi-fi as you could see over here 
currently is turned off and all the files may be saved over here the wallpapers are there fc card lunaris glimpse folder so use switcher aod bottom for the battery level icons show icons along with the temperature ambient aod and okay screen off animation should be there as well screen of aod now it should work i suppose you could see but there is some ui bug let me see once again well it's not exactly an aod because we are seeing all the wallpapers everything else that's just a wall lock screen bug i suppose a ui restart will be fix the issue then you have that fingerprint icons pre-built icons icon style there are various icon style as you could see from here likewise you can also change the animation i suppose animations are there as well i made a short video on this you may have a look at all of these impacts some of these are new impact i could see such as the breathing one just one i haven't seen i suppose before so you may have a look at that then charging shape there are too many tweaks in this rom that's great to see moreover i haven't seen the option to upload custom fonts the custom fingerprint animation these are there in this rom and i haven't seen this on any other rom till now for example you may upload a custom icon type for the fingerprint that's quite impressive status bar tweaks clock date and time you may change the clock positioning enable clock seconds as well add a background chip let's say new morph gradient for it to work you will have to enable okay it's now enabled this took some time but it's working transparent or let's keep it disabled for now i am not a fan of these many tweaks on a rom colored icons just lock the phone unlock it once again and you could see they are now implemented battery style in the status bar landscape origami you could see they is now change battery percent next to the icon on the right hand side you also add a logo let's see the logo style you could see these are the various logo styles currently it's showing as the android logo it's changed to biohazard now in just a few seconds it's now changed i am again not a fan of these styles quick pull down right hand side it's working then okay spoofing settings we'll have a look at that at the very end in the system system haptics weather settings weather menu free from launch sidebar let's enable that let's use sidebar let's add a few apps and it's working as well you can also add more app from this or choose the entire app drawer and use it maximize it pin it or close it let's close that because this tends to conflict with the back gesture so i don't use this you may hide the dev setup from various banking apps likewise you may also hide the routing app from the banking apps by adding the required app list apps in this app list and get the job done unlimited screen recording allow application downgrade is a must for me power menu actions advanced restart is there which is as follows system ui recovery and fast boot all the i don't know why fast boot is there should be the download mode still not a, a major concern pif is there let's update the pif and then we will add the keybox file as well and see if it works or not then you may spoof your phone to the latest google pixel to get the some pixel tweaks select the json file but we already have a pif json file from this section update pif you will automatically get the file of pif if you don't get the file then you may also upload the file from this section manually to get the job done now let's have a look at the pif tweaks in this regard first of all you have to enable wi-fi so just give me a second i will do that and then we will get a new file the new pif json file for that just tap on update pif wait for a few seconds and you will see we have got a new pif file for the from the pixel one of the pixel phones when that is done you may then upload the key the keybox file you may ask for me by the email i will share the file by email or you may simply use my keybox module as well to get the job done so let's not try it out i have a keybox file it should be the non revoked keybox which is over here transfer the file onto your phone do a renaming and rename it to just keybox the name becomes keybox.xml now let's load the keybox file from here let's tap on where is the button of keybox keybox file choose the file it's not loaded now you have to log into play store then install the app integrity if i check our app 
and then check if you're passing the strong test or not so let's try it out as well let's log into google account via the play store and get the job done the login is now complete let's turn off the backup cancel this for now and our first action should be to install the app the play integrity api checker app let me skip this skip this as well no thanks no thanks and now the app is here play integrity api checker app let's install the app and check the result in some cases a reboot might be required so let's see if it's required here or not give me a few more seconds it's being installed and after that we'll have a look at the result it's now installed you may also check via the play store itself no need for third party apps in that case go to the play store tap on your account name profile settings about tap on play store version seven times and once that is complete which is over here settings about tap on it seven times then general section dev options check integrity let's see what happens now you can see we're passing the basic device and the strong test as well and i will show you via the app as well you could see tap on check should pass all the three tests with ease you could see so guys that's all from this video Okay, let me have a look at some of the other tweaks as well. In the wallpaper style section, you may change the theming from this section. Other colors from here, switch to light theme from this page. If required, or switch back to dark theme, then go back. Change wallpapers. Some of these are here. Okay, we only have two wallpapers. More. Okay, there are various, as you could see. This is a live wallpaper. Let me see. No wallpaper configured. I don't know why that's the case live wallpaper is there or not currently that is not working but we have quite a few other ones as well let's stick with the default one only for now it's implemented then after that what all is there enable theme icons and they are now implemented let's turn it off change the aggregate size for me 5 plus 5 is the one which i use always so let's stick with that you can also enable lock screen clock styles from here change them as per the requirement let's stick with one for now this is the one and apart from that in the home settings okay current okay over it's here home settings swipe to access google app search settings swipe to start search and that is just about it so guys that's all from this video if you have any query let me know in the comment section and apart from that in the system buttons any other tweaks you may assign edge long swipe gesture but again that will tend to conflict with the back gesture so i don't use this but it's there you may use it if required enable partial screenshot as well from the section in the gestures quick tap use quick tap and let's say take a screenshot okay it's fine and now let me see if it's working or not it's working well and good as you could see double press to open camera three finger swipe gesture again let me see let's say take a screenshot it's working well and good shake gestures let's say toggle volume panel you could see it's now enabled great to see navigation mode just the navigation is fine so there are quite a lot of options in all of these tweaks and pages you can solve the update from the section or from the recovery as well both will work choice is all yours then in the display brightness extra dim lock screen pocket mode dark theme you will do we have a black theme pure black okay that is also there only a few roms have this feature thankfully this has it rotation setting screen refresh rate maximum 120 let's keep both of them at 120 this will lead to additional battery drainage for now all the app will use only 120 hertz at all times screen saver is currently off you may enable that as well so this this looks much better now in the black theme so guys that's all from this video if you have any query let me know in the comment section and for the keybox file i've shown you this is the page i will share the file via email section and thanks a lot for watching